Previously on a kayak adventure offshore. Episode one, we sailed from Mackay Harbour to Cockermouth Island, a 42 kilometer journey, staying three nights. Episode two, we then sailed from Cockermouth Island over to Goldsmith Island, a 30 kilometer journey, and staying two nights in Royland Bay. This episode, we're going to sail from Goldsmith Island over to Shore Island and camping at the beautiful Neck Bay. Don't believe it, but we're going to go from one paradise to another. So as we head over to Shore Island, right now there's uh, no wind around at the moment. Um, but once we get out of the lee of the island, hopefully um, we get a bit of wind. Damn it! I left my drag off when I left the beach, and I'm literally pulling in hundreds of meters of fishing line. I've been here for about 10 minutes now, and. Uh, I'm over fishing already. <laughs> Hopefully the water clears up and uh, I can grab the spear gun and uh, finally done. Alright, won't do that again. Uh, the guys are way ahead. Uh, better get pedalling. And uh, fortunately there's no wind so I can't use the sail. So we're about 8 kilometres and 2 hours into a 30 kilometre crossing over to the next campsite on Shore Island. The wind is pretty much non-existent. So it looks like it's going to be a seven hour pedal over there. Uh, on the plus side, the uh, calm conditions should bring some clearer water for spear fishing. So hopefully I'll get in the water probably tomorrow or the next day. And here's Robbie boy. What's going on mate? What? Yeah, break the tip of bloody rod, look. Shark got ya? Yeah. <laughs> oh, the tax man. I said fish on, I thought, you beauty. Bit of action anyway. Yeah, yeah. She's a slow crossing without this wind, isn't it? Yeah, But we're halfway right now. Oh, to, to that tip down there. Because this island here is halfway. And then there's another 10 kilometers past there. That's right. Yep. So we're a third of the way. Yeah. <laughs> Still 
nice little break to the trip. I was here half asleep and the line went off. Thought I was under a good fish. It's a nice dinner. Uh, unfortunately, it was just a little shark. And because uh, he had both his uh, hooks caught in his mouth, I actually had to pull him aboard for a bit of a cuddle and a kiss. And uh, yeah, catch and release. Anyway, lost a few minutes, but I'll try and make it up the next few k's. Made Shore Island and we're on the western side now so we've just got a 10 kilometer um, hike down to the northern end of the island and that's where our campsite's going to be. Um, still not much wind at the moment, it's made a long pedal and it's going to be another long 10 k's. So, and I've just gone through a green zone, I had to pull the line in just a while ago, um, I'll drop that back out soon. We're back out of the green zone in a second. I don't know if you can see, but it's quite shallow here. We've, uh, we've missed the tide. It's three quarters of the way out because we had no wind on the way over. The trip was quite slow, we just had to utilise the mirage drives to get here and uh, probably took us about six to seven hours to get over as opposed to four hours with the sail. So, that's okay, we're just, I'm just going to push this thing close. The other guys have already landed, doesn't look overly good ahead of me so I better focus on what I'm doing. The last thing I want to do out here is uh, damage the craft. Guys, made it here to Shore Island. As you can see, it's low tide. So we missed the tide by quite a bit. <laughs> That's right. Wait for the tide to come back in this afternoon. Then we're gonna bring the craft up the beach. In the meantime, we're gonna go and try and find a, a campsite in this beautiful spot.
channel and the fact that this bay sort of collects the wind. Yeah, I noticed that tomorrow the wind's odd, the wind's coming from the north. What a beautiful day here in Neck Bay on Shore Island here in Queensland, Australia. This little piece of tropical paradise. So we got here yesterday afternoon. Tide was a bit low. We had to leave the craft out on the on the sand flats or rather the mud flats. And we waited for the tide to come in last night and we were able to pull our craft ashore. And lucky because the, uh, the tide actually came right up this beach. Um, Anyway, Derek's, uh, Derek's about to go out for a fish, just behind me here. I'm not too far behind him. I'll be going for a spear fish, and Rob's gone around the point for a fish, just land-based. So anyway, what I might do is just take you through a walkthrough of our camp setup, and um, you can see how we spent the night. So up underneath the she-oaks, this is my little setup. Toiletry bag, same as before, hammock with a mosquito net. This actually was uh, very handy last night. I woke up this morning to literally a hundred mosquitoes. And over here, my camera gear. A couple of solar panels, charging some battery packs. This is Derek's setup. His camp gear here. His little Black Wolf tent. It's 50 watt solar panel. Bit of a mock setup for a camp kitchen. Pretty basic, does the job. Morning Derek. Morning Mark, how's it going? Fish on today? I hope so. These are hope so. Somebody's got a bit of dinner tonight. <laughs> and then up over the back here. Put Rob in isolation. <laughs> Uh, we actually found a really, really nice little camp camp spot. Nice sandy spot for his uh, one pole tent. I don't know if you guys have seen this before, but Rob's uh, Rob's got this tent, literally one pole. That's his solar panels over here. And look at that waterfront property. Anyway, I better put the camera down, gotta get the wetsuit on and go in for some search for some clear water. Derek's out on the water already and uh, he's just gave me verification that there is a little bit of clarity in the water. Um, so that's a good sign. Um, conditions right now, westerly wind, probably only around five knots. Um, yeah, it's looking good. Hopefully I'll be in the water in less than 10 minutes. I'm doing what sailors call is tacking. So that's sailing upwind, just on a 45 degree angle, uh, as opposed to jiving, which is downwind. Really, really stoked I got in the water today. Water, the clarity was terrible. Uh, what I've found in the past is one of the tricks with spearing in 
dirty water like that is to actually take your time move really slow lots of dives to the bottom sit and wait for the fish to come to you most of the time the fish are uh, quite inquisitive and they will come up to you managed to get a couple of coral trout and a tusky so i got this trout here is 43 centimeters and this one here is 37 centimeters legal size of these trout 36 so this one's just over and this little tusky so this little tusky was uh although he looked small uh still still measured up uh legal size in that is 36 and he was 36 and a half anyway that's uh got lunch and dinner there and i was pretty stoked actually um got some fish for the guys and then i just got on the radio to derek and he's just informed me that he's got a a big long tail tuna uh, and he said there's probably eight kilos of fillets there so we're going to be flat out like a lizard drinking uh, consuming that today and tomorrow morning so. Mate, lovely long tail tuna, good fish. He's a nice one, she'll do a meal or two. Well done. Got two beautiful calamaris for you. I've already prepared them. Two, two pieces like that. Oh, nice. Good? Yeah. Well done, so we've got calamari, tuna, Cold trout, tusk fish. Yeah. Ah, if it, oh, beauty. Is that good? Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. High Don't five, worry. everyone. Yeah, <laughs> I want to go. <laughs> so we've done pretty well today. We've got ourselves some uh, seafood. We've got more than enough, but we're going to try and eat as much as we can. So we've got an island esky. That should keep our fillets cool. And Rob has been kind enough to catch us some calamari. So how are you prepping the calamari, mate? Uh, very simple. Make sure it's really well cleaned. Cut it into rings. Look, I've just got some spices. I've never tried these spices before. It's used normally um, just salt and pepper. We coat them. <laughs> and we gently run our fingers through it. <laughs> Get it hot. It only takes a couple of seconds. You don't muck around with calamari. By the time I put these in and turn them over, they'll be done. Can you just uh, dust one of those with a bit of sand for, for oh, Derek? Oh, he on. likes his with sand. sand. You haven't got bread crumbs, this is the next yeah. best thing. <laughs> yeah, the second one I had was a bit chewy, but the yeah. first one was spot on. Yeah, good. Pretty good, mate. The second one, longer is better. Mm. Good, okay. What you want are nice pink, light pink steaks. So this has been bled well. It was ikishimi as soon as I caught it. Good recipe, mate. Yeah. Complicated. <laughs> Complicated recipe. Yeah. Difficult. A little bit of salt, a little bit of heat. No sand? No sand. Not in this recipe.
dark in here. So we've had a good feed of fish. And I, oh my God, far out. <laughs> wow, that is one big spider. And I am so scared of spiders. Um, focusing again. All right, so I just thought I'd uh, try and make my way across to the other side of the island. There's a bit of a pathway and <laughs> oh man, that spider. Oh, let's try that again. <laughs> um, so yeah, I thought I'd um, try and trek across the island to the other side. Um, it's, it's a quite a short walk. Where we're camping is actually, there's a bay on the western side and a bay on the eastern side of the island. So it's a very short walk. Literally here right now. What a cool little spot. Just stumbled across one of these again. I've seen a similar one of these on another island. I'm not sure what they are. Pretty sure this is a solar panel with a battery in it. They've got what looks appears to be like a fishing net. I'm pretty sure it's a fad. Could be wrong. I'd love to know what that is. You can really notice the diversity over here on the eastern side of the island as opposed to the western side of the island where we're camping. In this rock pool just behind me here, it's all beaming with fish. Uh, there's corals, marine sponges, a lot of cool stuff. Over on the western side, it's a lot more plain. More oysters and mud. Not a lot going on over there. I reckon out off the drop off just here would be really, really good to spearfish. Unfortunately, this area is all marine park, so no spearfishing or fishing allowed. But it's good to preserve what's here. The amount of life here is amazing. Wow. I'm just about to head back. The sun's just setting. I want to head back and we want to start packing our craft as we're going to leave this island tomorrow. We're going to head for the next one. Wow, there's just fish everywhere here. And the next island we're going to go to is Whitsunday Island on the southern end to a spot called Chance Bay. It's quite popular with uh, yachties, so there's probably going to be a few people there. There's no spearfishing there, so today was my last day spearfishing, unfortunately. But I am going to enjoy what's around. Might even still go for a dive and just have a look. Um, and then, yeah, tonight, probably sit back, drink a beer, watch the sunset, and enjoy the last of what this island has to offer. Another beautiful morning here on Shore Island. The wind's been blowing from the northwest last night, so this bay's all a little bit stirred up. Final preparations are being made by the guys. We've got our craft down to the water, we're just lashing a few things down, and then we're off for a 20 kilometre crossing over to Whitsunday Island. We're heading to a spot called Chance Bay, quite popular with the yachties. Um, yeah, we're estimated with the wind on our sail, probably take around four to five hours. Hopefully the weather's kind to us and we can get some wind on the sail. Every single day I'll be making moves till I'm buried